So in recent weeks and months, we could see an increase of like AI generated art popping up on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram. You, you see it everywhere, right? And there are different platforms that generate different types of art, like for example, Mid Journey, which you can apply for the beta right now. I'll link it down in the description where you can apply. I have applied, I'm in the beta right now, and I wanna do a video where you guys give me suggestions what the AI should generate, and then I, I let it generate live. However, the devs have asked me to kindly hold back on that because it's an early, early beta. So I'm not gonna do that video right now. However, we can look at some of the creations of Mid Journey, like this one, for example. Someone typed in Cotton Candy Factory Inferno. Like how amazing is that? I mean, keep in mind these engines, these AI engines use assets from real artists, okay? So they take cues from real artists and somehow puzzle together, but the results are just stunning in terms of composition. I don't think I could have painted a better painting or created anything better for the term cotton candy factory inferno. A lot of it is also abstract, like cellular landscapes and stuff. And you, you see the results are just absolutely remarkable. So this is all mid journey. I've posted it on, on my community feed as well. I've generated a few spaceships, which looked absolutely amazing. And it's really cool because with this AI art, you feel like you generated it yourself. I mean, all you did was type in five words, but you get a result and it's like, yes, I have done this. This is my artwork now. <laughs> and it does kind of raise a little bit the question of ownership and stuff. But anyway, all that aside, that's Mid Journey, okay? Mid Journey, great for, for mood images, concept art, simulation, and stuff like that. But then there's also Dolly. Dolly. Dell. I'm not, I don't know if this is even like available for anyone or if you have to apply for a beta. I'm not in it. But I want to fly through the weirdest Dolly generations with you guys because. That's what we do on this channel. We're starting off with this one, extremely muscular teapot. And there it is, <laughs> look, look at it. And you can then choose like single images and they get upscaled and then generated with more, more detail. But check it out. Like some of those are really good, like this one. Like that's a proper muscular teapot. Not bad, these AIs are pretty good. Skeleton going down a water slide and there it is <laughs> it's, it's look how many ribs these skeletons have so yeah i got a bit confused there but generally you can't say it's not a skeleton going down a water slide it certainly is so well done well done ai bill cosby on ring doorbell footage creepy <laughs> Check it out. Check this one. What the hell is going on up here? That is actually remarkable because it does still look like a very creepy parody of Bill Cosby. It is recognizable. All of them are just creepy as hell, bro. <laughs> this one. What's going on? Fish Eye Harambe doing a kickflip. <laughs> Check it out. Check him out doing the moves. I love it, man. He's... he's kicking the flips bruv look he's doing the wall right leaning into it. it just looks epic man rest in peace harambe man that's how it all started telling you there wouldn't be any pandemic there would be no no collapse of stock markets and some kind of recession if harambe would have not died that day it would have changed everything yoshi in a dishwasher look this is actually fairly accurate you know if you don't look too closely you would think that is a yoshi toy inside a dishwasher right like you would get away with some of these images and give it another five years. Five years of that technology evolving. You're gonna say Yoshi in a dishwasher. You're gonna get a perfect image of that. You're gonna get the perfect image. Scientists trying to rhyme orange with banana. <laughs> look, look how they're like. Oh man, let me try to look at it from this angle. Mm, if, if, I, if we put them up kind of in a tripod, maybe then it rhymes. Damn, man. Science doesn't have the answer to everything, right? You can't rhyme orange with banana. Elon Musk, police sketch. <laughs> These are not bad. These are not bad, right? These do look like police sketches. They even have little signatures of whoever the artist was. And they do look like Elon Musk. That's actually remarkable. Put it out there. Get the man arrested. 1993, Renault Twingo in Skyrim. <laughs> Check this out. How, how does it do that? Because that's not just cutting out a photo of a Renault Twingo. That looks like a low-res model of that car that is kind of in keeping with the overall aesthetic of, 
of Skyrim, do you know what I mean? That's really weird that it manages to generate that. That I mean, wow. Like at some point, you just don't know if any image is real anymore, right? They're just gonna post stuff on the internet. Oh man, I found a Renault Twingo in Skyrim. Someone must have accidentally modeled it and people are gonna spend the next 10 years trying to find that model when actually it was just like an AI generated image. We're not gonna be able to trust anything anymore. Razer gaming urinal. <laughs> That's actually probably how it would look like, right? If Razer would decide to make a urinal, then it would probably have some green backlighting for sure. <laughs> Check, like they went deep into the design, like there's a kind of a second dish here, a second dish inside the urinal. Check those extravagant shapes. This is another thing for designers. This platform is just a gold mine, right? Because if you're stuck, you can't think about a good shape or like moving forward on something, then this will give you so much inspiration if you're a urinal designer. SpaceX launching Jesus Christ on a cross. <laughs> There it is. It's pretty straightforward. Is what you expect. Walter White Giga Chat. Oh. Oh, good God. Look at his face, man. This is just super creepy. Not one of the images has like just an actual Walter White face. They all look like scary Resident Evil creatures or something. Fisher Price. My first crucifix. <laughs> look at it. It's all marshmallowy and green and colorful. Yeah, I'm sure that would sell, right? In America, you'd get away with that. People would make bank with that shit. My first Fisher Price Glock. Also not bad. Look at those great generations. If you are the the designer at Fisher Price for, for guns or some toys, you know, you type that in, it's gonna give you loads of great color combinations and, and ideas. Fish Eye Lens, Stephen Hawking skydiving in his chair. <laughs> there he is. Again, his face. This AI struggles with faces, right? Those are just mush, but you get the idea, right? There he is, Stephen Hawking, <laughs> doing the skydiving in his chair. Ah, uh, I am enjoying this. This is real fun. <laughs> May he rest in peace. He was one of the great ones. Dumpster fire painted by Monet. That's what it is. It's a dumpster fire. Some more, some less. Look, I, I like how here's the frame and it looks like it's hanging in the gallery. It's brilliant, man. This AI generation stuff is awesome. Stapler Xenomorph, look. Look, it just combines them. I mean, if you look too much at the details, then it kind of falls apart. But in general, you know, it's not bad. Police interrogating a jar of pickles. Oh, you're in a bit of a pickle now. <laughs> I would say, oh no, I'm sorry, I'll see myself out. Babies robbing a gas station. There they are, look at those babies. <laughs> We're trying to find, we need the, we now need the criminal sketch of them. The guy who did the sketches of Elon Musk, we need him to sketch those babies. Find them, man. They're robbing all the gas stations in the area. <laughs> They're out of control. They just come in with their little uh, Fisher Price Glocks <laughs> and threaten everyone. Don't underestimate the baby gangs, man. <laughs> <laughs> Internet Explorer ascending to heaven. <laughs> Look, he didn't really make it in one piece. He's a bit crippled and, and torn apart. It's been a long journey, you know? It's been a long journey for the Internet Explorer. He's seen a lot of stuff. He's asked a lot of people to become their standard browser and was denied. He just was denied over and over again, and now he's replaced by Edge. So nobody loves the Internet Explorer. And he's ascending to heaven, so there we go. At least there's a happy ending to it. Pharaoh, Darth Vader, Egypt. Love it. This is cool. This is so cool. This is such a good idea. Wow. It's not perfect, but again, you take one of those, you're an artist, you sketch over it, then it's perfect. You know, Then you can claim it's your your art piece, you had help from an AI. And a lot of people say, oh, it's gonna replace artists. Soon we have no artists left. You know, if AIs make all the art. To, what, to that I would say that, first of all, it's gonna take a long time until you're really 100% in control of what this generates. It's always a little bit of a lucky gamble at the moment. You throw something at the wall and it might just be garbage. These are obviously particularly weird and interesting results. Not all of them are that interesting, but I think we're gonna see as artists, Stuff like this appearing in our daily workflows. Maybe, you know, platforms like Photoshop and so on gonna use AI, these kind of algorithms to fill content in the background where you say, ah, oh, you know, just put like something there and put, put a city in the distance and it generates something. So artists are gonna use this more as a tool in the near future, at least, rather than it replacing them. At least that's my interpretation of where this is going. Tiananmen Square protest of 1989. Uh, what do you mean, Tiananmen protest? That didn't happen. That That's... I don't remember. I don't know what that is about. Even the AI doesn't remember. We don't know what that is about. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, we're not even reading that. I left it on the screen for a second. If you want to read it yourself, go ahead, but I'm not doing that. A pizza being interviewed on TV news. <laughs> there it is. Everyone really wants to know what the pizza has to say. So, um, 
how many types of cheese are exactly on you? Because I can smell there's some gorgonzola or something. Is that, is that accurate, Mr. Pizza? Fisher Price, my first bulletproof vest. Okay, that's actually not funny. Oh, that's not funny. No, we're moving on. A funeral at Walmart. <laughs> all the aisles in the background. Everyone is acting like it's the most normal thing <laughs> that all these, all these caskets are like barred up at Walmart, you know, why not? If all this is teaching the AI who we are, right? The, if the AI is learning about humans from all these searching terms, holy shit, the AI must think we're the most effed up creatures that ever existed. And one last one, I've seen this on various platforms. It's going around fisheye lens image of the Pope riding a skateboard. First Harambe, now the Pope. Here he is doing the flips, doing the tricks. I love it. It's pretty cool, man. <laughs> Pope, Pope gets away with it, bruv. Check it out. He, he's got the loose flowing gowns, you know, if he's doing the kickflip, that shit's going to look awesome in super slow motion because he's got the gowns. So, yeah, here he is skateboarding on like the square in front of the Vatican, <laughs> kicking a few moves. Good stuff, man. I love those AIs. I want to do more of it. And I want to do a video where I generate your guys' suggestions live in the video. Okay, so please, if you have suggestions for the AI for me to generate, I will do it at some point. Leave it down in the comments. Just say generate this thing for me or something like this. And then I will ultimately pick the best five one or something generated in the final video. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you had some fun, guys. I hope you learned something about AI image generation. If you did, smash up the like. I would appreciate that. And you can also subscribe if you not have yet done that. I would also appreciate to see you in another video. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And I'm out. Bye.